Hello everyone, my name is Hugo Vasquez. Here we have Miguel Esperança Martins and Manuel Ravasqueira. We are from Portugal, from Lisbon, and we present three um, university institutions that will get together to study the sarcomas. So, our work is a little bit disruptive and a little bit provocative. As a matter of fact, we think that the current isopathological classification in sarcomas uh, has several conceptual caveats. As a matter of fact, is eminently morphologically based and based on the comparison with normal tissue uh, counterparts, it's also intrinsically complex and prone to errors. And besides that, it fragments sarcomas in more than 80 subtypes. Adding this fragmentation to the rarity of sarcomas naturally hinders drug discovery and drug development, which are much needed in sarcomas. And so we think that the classification should evolve from a more histopathological um, model to a molecularly based model. So as a matter of fact, we identified patients with um, the most common subtypes of soft tissue sarcomas, uh, namely undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcomas, dedifferentiated liposarcomas, and also high-grade leomia sarcomas. We uh, extracted DNA and RNA and then performed RNA sequencing using the new Foundation One RNA-seq kit. Afterwards, and with all the data coming from the RNA sequencing study, we used machine learning algorithms namely an unsupervised machine learning algorithm called consensus clustering. We then identified four clusters and we validated that the perfect number for clusters and the ideal one would be four. We performed differential gene expression evaluation per transcriptomic cluster, which allowed us to uh, portray and characterize each one of them. We then tried to understand within our core whether those clusters had or not a prognostic value. And we identified that three of the four transcriptomic clusters had indeed a negative prognostic value. We then also try to identify by performing an ANOVA over a Cox proportional hazards model test uh, among different variables, including the isopathological classification, which one could better predict overall survival. And as a matter of fact, our transcriptomic clusters were the only uh, variable that has shown a statistically significant correlation with overall survival. We then validated our um, uh, results with the TCGSR dataset. And as a matter of fact, we understood that within the TCGA-SARC dataset, the samples were mainly enriched in cluster 1 and cluster 3, with cluster 3 showing a worse prognosis. And then we also performed an ANOVA test over a Cox proportional hazards model and again identified transcriptomic clusters as the only variable with a statistically significant correlation with overall survival, again overcoming histopathological classification. Besides this prognostic value, our clusters also have, as I already mentioned, several alterations, molecular alterations, that may be potentially predictive of response to certain modalities of therapy. Uh, now we are expecting to validate our results with other datasets and integrate novel artificial intelligence uh, models into our results. And we expect to make a change into the sarcoma future. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.